Okay, left to right, top row, uh, surf trem, just a uh, tremolo, just a tremolo unit. Next one is a full tone, super trem, another tremolo, slightly different. The rat is an old 80s distortion pedal that I really can't live without. And the next one is uh, the Expandora 2. Saw so Billy Gibbons with a rack of them, with, a, with a, a column, a mic stand, and he had about four of them all on this mic stand, and he was using them for distortion. And um, sounded great when Billy was using them. <laughs> but um, I don't use it that much. The MXR is an old 80s, 70s actually, maybe. Yeah. Actually, I used that compressor on um, Please Don't Judas Me on Hair of the Dog. It's a great compressor. Second row, left, is a Keeley compressor, which is pretty much your Nashville standard for all the the, the great guitar players that come out in come out in Nashville and use Telecasters, Keeley. It's a signature sound. Great, great compressor. Probably the best compressor for the money that you can buy for guitar. And the next one is a Boss Dimension C. It's actually uh, modelled on a, a rack mount chorus unit that was uh, available in the late 70s, early, early 80s, called the Dimension D. And it's just a, a lovely, gentle chorus, very transparent and very, very hi-fi. It's, it's a great pedal. Next one is an octaver, just a, an octave device. Don't use it much, don't use it much. Although, Gary Clark Jr., I think he uses, he uses an octaver pedal to get his, his uh, great sound. The great, great guitar player, great young guitar player, blues player. Next one is uh, the Chandler Colored Boost. It's just an overdrive pedal, but it's, it's very, very good. Very good. Plimsoll, made by Fulltone. Great distortion. I use it live. Les Paul, Plimsoll, Marshall. Killer sound. And the next one on the white pedal on the right is a Fulltone. Obsessive, what is it? Ob 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 obsessive. Obsessive compulsive. Yeah. <laughs> Distortion. It's a uh, it's a boost. It's a boost pedal. It's, it's it's quite good. Don't use it much. Bottom row left is the Red Witch. And that was a. I went to Nam show. And uh, the company, I was talking to them and I said, I need a substitute for a Univibe so I can play Love Hurts live. And, he, and he, he demoed this pedal for me and I thought it was pretty good. It's not a Univibe, but it's cool. It's a cool pedal, phasing, chorus effects, really good. Great company. And your ubiquitous... Digital Delay from Boss, great, great pedal, and the uh, Boss Chorus CE2, also, use it on, on my live, when I'm playing live I use that for chorus and uh, it's good, it's good, it's reliable and it's does what it's supposed to do. Boss Chromatic Tuner, self-explanatory. Tech 21 Comp Torsion. It's a combination of compression and distortion pedal that is really, really good. When you need it, it's indispensable. It's a, it's a great pedal. Again, don't use it that much, but it's good to have. Uh, Michael Fasberg loved it. When we were doing the From Behind project, he used it. And he, he thought it was fantastic. Yeah, that's it for pedals. Uh, 
I could probably multiply that by about 10 when it comes to effects that I have as plugins for, you know, my DAW. Very good. Good rocking. <laughs>